Hey, hey, welcome back to TMX Brick Notes. I am your host, Martin, and in this video, I have a whole bunch of LEGO related news to share with you. And we're going to touch on these topics. We have Model Railway, Series 12 CMFs, Ghostbusters Comparison, Beyond the Brick at Brick World Chicago, X Men Mansion, Ninjago Movie, Lego Events, and a whole bunch more. So we better get started. A reminder that everything I talk about in this video will have a link in the description, and that includes our headline tonight, ME Models Railway System. ME Models is making a fully functional model railway system that can complement the current LEGO gauge railway offering, and it's already been funded on Kickstarter. There were 260 backers topping their goal of $79,000, yes, with a whopping $87,000 $357. From Youngstown, Ohio, it's a duo. It's Mike Fetzko and Eric Olson. In 2003, they created ME models with the goal of delivering realistic static construction models that are visually appealing and a joy to build, while keeping in mind the playability for children. And in 2007, it was the LEGO group that actually stopped producing the 9-volt train line in favor of a more economical solution. So in steps ME models. The 9-volt system functions just like a traditional railway system where the train's engines are powered by picking up a current from electricity-powered rails controlled by a transformer. Well, I'm getting into too many details. It's on Kickstarter still. You can go check it out. There's even a video and many other details. I'm kind of curious to see what uh, other LEGO-related YouTube channels are going to say, including Brickzar and Kevin F., that come to mind first. And what do you think? Is this potentially a direction you would take in your LEGO city? In October 2014, we should have Series 12 for collectible minifigures. And yes, I said that right, Series 12. There was a little bit of a debate between some LEGO fans as to whether the movie line counted or not. Apparently it does not. Set number 71007 is gonna be CMF Series number 12 and we have a rumor as to what those CMFs are going to be. So if you don't want to know, close your eyes and ears. So here we go, I'm going to read them off. We're going to have 16 once again with, again, just rumored, the Space Miner, Battle Goddess, Wizard, Dino Tracker, Swashbuckler, Jester, Piggy Guy, Hun Warrior, Fairy Tale Princess, Pizza Delivery Man, It's About Time, Video Game Guy, heck yeah, Spooky Girl, Prospector, Genie Girl, Rockstar, and Lifeguard. So there you go. Hopefully they're another great line in the CMF series. I know many of you have been anticipating the new Ghostbusters set from Kuso slash now Lego Ideas, including the creator, Brent Waller. Now set number 21108 comes out in June of 2014. And we have some pictures here of a side-by-side -side comparison. The creator of the Ghostbusters set received the new model and was able to set it side-by-side -side with his version. And it's only a $50 price tag, $49.99 US. And as you look at the pictures side-by-side, -side, you can see that they're very similar. But if you're planning to go buy the set, you better get there early because I guarantee it's going to sell out. It's been rumored that the average LEGO store will have anywhere from 30 to 40 on hand. Brick World Chicago 2014 is on its way. If you can make it to the Renaissance Convention Center in Schaumburg, Illinois on June 14th and 15th, you can be there and see 66,000 square feet of spectacular creations all built from LEGO bricks. But if you can't get there, there may be a DVD to buy. Another Kickstarter fund, uh, project funded, this one put on by Joshua Hanlon from Beyond the Brick. You may know him from his podcast or YouTube channel. He went to raise $1,000 and did that easily, like in the first few days. And now he's going to create a two-hour DVD. It's going to include um, behind-the-scenes interviews and many other things. You can check out the link, but that looks great. The X-Men X Mansion achieves 10,000 votes on LEGO Ideas. It is a mock created by Darth Kai, or Darth KY, it's all one word. It is the third large-scale pro 
project to reach the 10,000 required votes to move on to the product review stage. And it seems like a lot of larger projects have been produced lately and hit this goal. Maybe we're moving in a trend where the bigger projects can do that. The Lego Movie was a huge hit, and you probably already know by now that they're going to make a sequel and other movies, including the Ninjago-themed movie. And the date has been set. It will be September 23rd, 2016. This is building off the Lego Group's popular ninja-inspired minifigures, and it will be directed by Charlie Bean. The producers will be the same as the Lego Movie. Lego Tower sets world record. Now, you may have seen in my previous broadcast where I talked about the attempt that was going to be made in Hungary. Well, they did it. They set a world record with a tower that is 34.76 meters high. Now, their goal was 36, but they did top the world record that was previously set at 34.43 meters. And the Guinness World Records officials were there to certify it. Now, what's the tallest tower you have ever built? On May 24th, 2014, the Kansas City Royals knocked off the Los Angeles Angels 7-4 in Anaheim. Well, this is baseball. What does it have to do with Lego? Well, the game started at 4.15 p.m., and the crowd was guaranteed a Lego movie, the Lego movie, after the ball game. Unfortunately, the ball game lasted 13 innings, a total of almost five hours. So by 9.15 or later, most of the kids were ready to go home if they hadn't gone home already. Man, that's a bummer. There's an event in Brisbane, or Brisbane, I'm not really sure how to say it. It's on the eastern edge of Australia. It is Bris Bricks Pine Rivers Lego Fan Expo 2014. It starts June 7th at 9 a.m. and goes through June 9th at 4 p.m. It's at the Straith Pine Community Center. Now, it's pretty awesome because it goes in sessions. It starts every hour and a half that you sign up for, and it's $7 for an adult, $3 for youth ages 3 to 15. For those of you in the United States, there will be an ongoing event in Cleveland, Ohio. It's called Nature Connects, a Lego Brick Experience, and you may have heard of this before. It is by the artist Sean Kenny of Brook Brooklyn, New York, and he is starting the event. It's already started May 24th. It goes all the way through August 24th. It is giant Lego sculptures of dragonflies, butterflies, lily pads, and other larger-than-life items at the Cleveland Botanical Garden, and he used almost half a million bricks. Bricks, bricks, bricks. <laughs> All right, that's it for your Lego news today. Thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you're having a wonderful week. Big thank you to all of my subscribers. I will catch up with you next time. See ya! A company using Lego similar to Netflix and Gamefly? A super yacht inspired by Lego blocks? The meanest wife ever? How about some Lego events and much more? Out of my dark ages, I'm back into it as an A-fall, and there is still that joy and that wonder to be around it and to then see other people enjoy it. Okay, you ready? Give me a B! Give me an O! Give me an N! You know, I can't really hear you. You really need to speak up.